Hey, welcome back to Su Vida. I'm Vanessa Ramirez, and today we are hanging out with artist Hanaro Garcia. Now, Hanaro, you were one of our first guests on Su Vida many years ago, and you've accomplished so much since then. I mean, you have this art studio, ceramics, murals, restaurants. How do you get it all done? Easy. I'm Mexican. <laughs> hey, I feel you on that one. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so what are you working on now? Right now, uh, I have a show right now in Escazar for the, the whole month of fe uh, February. Beside that, as you know, we're opening the uh, Taco Cello in Tempe. Uh, I'm working in a new collection of ceramics in Mexico with Talavera. And also I'm finishing uh, the wine. I have my own uh, wine label in Mexico, uh, Vino Bohemio. Wine. Bohemian wine, yes. Let me ask you, what made you want to do that? I think it's art. I, I, what, what I love to do is art. And I think uh, making wine, doing a mural, cooking, painting, doing a sculpture, uh, designing a restaurant, it gives me the same satisfaction. It's, it's that satisfaction of doing something with your hands and, and your brains. Okay. Creativity. So one of my New Year's resolutions is to pick a hobby with art, right? Or something creative. Good. So can you have any advice for someone who's barely getting started in this type of work? Yeah. If you want to do something creative, you want to paint or you want to do a sculpture or ceramic, whatever you want to do with your hands, it's just, you just need to start doing it. And once you start, it's so impossible to stop because it's so, the satisfaction is the best that you're going to get. It's the best therapy. Best therapy. I didn't think about it as therapy. Yeah, it is indeed. Yeah. So if someone is interested in your work, uh -huh. how can they find you? My website to start, okay. artegenaro.com. The studio, there's a couple uh, galleries here in town, one in Escazar, Royce Gallery, uh, Practical Art here in downtown Phoenix, uh, For the People, and a Taco Cello also. All right, well, I want to see some more of your art. Perfect. So can yeah. we go to Taco Cello? We can get some tacos also there. Tacos, yeah, there's I lots of they're good. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Genaro, Taco Cello has been a staple in downtown Phoenix since 2018. Now this place yes. is Great, it combines both culinary and visual arts. So many cool things in here. Where'd you get it all? Almost everything is made in Mexico. The idea is to have people to feel like they're walking into one of my paintings. So everything is Mexican inside. Like the lighting I designed and I have a friend of mine built, made it in, in San Miguel de Allende. The bar is a replica of this old, old cantina in, in San Miguel de Allende. Also one of my favorite places to go and get a beer. The atmosphere, the art, even the tile that you see on the bar. I designed and have it made in Mexico. That's a pasta tile. That's a, they pour the concrete with different colors, each one. And it's, a, a, it's in between Day of the Dead and Star Wars. I'm a big fan. So it would be Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> so, exactly. Okay, so art is obviously one of your big fortes, and art is yes. created here every day. Everything's yes. delicious, but mm -hmm. what's, what's the Taco Cello specialty? I would say for me, my yeah. favorite would be Al Pastor, that is just in Wednesday because we make the pastor uh, with charcoal instead of with gas. Okay. Beside that one, the Sonoran taco is my favorite. So this one is in flour tortilla with uh, the semillo, and it have like cabbage and a special salsa. It's like a raw uh, tomat tomato and chili de arbol. Let's talk about the sign, Taquero Mucho. Now, for those of you that don't speak Spanish, it's a play on words, Te Quiero Mucho and Taquero. A taquero is a taco maker. Te you quiero means you have love to love you. the taquero, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. so yes. yo, yo taquero mucho también. Aww. So I wanted to have the, uh, something with neon uh, uh, on, on the back of the, of the main table uh, because it's a good way to show what we do uh, a lot in Mexico, to play with words, yeah. but also people love it for pictures and things like that. There's a second Taco Cello location happening. Yes! Yeah, that's going to be in Tempe now. We're in Tempe, close to ASU. It's going to be a completely different vibe, the same menu. We're going to add more to the menu uh, uh, when we open that one and it's going to come to the uh, same menu in this one. We're going to have the new dishes for both, but the vibe is going to be different. The design is different. It's so, uh, it's going to be kind of eclectic, Mexican eclectic, that space. Yeah. Yes. And you should come back for more Subida right after this for some more tacos. Well, we destroy these tacos. Yes. Hurry before Vanessa gets here. <laughs>